Yes, certainly. So there are a few steps that we can take, and the Nepalis will say Bastari, Bastari. The Tanzanians on Kili will say Poli, Poli, which means go slowly, slowly. So what we do is we just take our time. When you've taken this bunch of time off to be in the mountains, we take our time to enjoy ourselves and we go slowly, slowly. And so we gradually gain altitude. And when we're walking along, we don't push ourselves as hard as we would. You know, we're not trying to get any records, any world records here. So we're only trying to push our bodies just a little at a time. So we're not pushing ourselves into the red zone. Because if you find that you'll put yourself into the red zone, it takes a lot more to recover. I've seen this before when I was working at Ferris Shea, where I you know, uh, had some people who were long distance runners and they, they'd get up to uh, say Namche Bazaar and they go, oh, I haven't done much work today. I'll just go for a quick run. I'll run up to Armadablan base camp and back. And then by the time they get to us at four and a half thousand meters, they're cooked because they've, they haven't given their bodies the time and the opportunity to acclimatize because they've pushed themselves into the red zone too, too much. They've pushed themselves as hard as they would when they're at home, which has taken a deleterious effect on them. So the importance of rest days, the importance of rest during the day is super important to enable you to meet your goals.